Good afternoon, Ed Camp coordinators. This is Bradford Harris, and I wanted to show you what uh, John Peters and myself discussed last week when we met uh, about having our Aldine Unconference Professional Development. Again, I don't know what we're changing the name to yet, so I'm just going to just show you this little presentation on what we discussed and John Peters, if I made any mistakes or if you want to add something to it, just send an email out so everybody's questions could be clear. I'm sending this out to you guys because I don't know the next time we're going to meet. So I just wanted to just uh, give you a heads up on what my part of the um, job is that I'm supposed to do. So basically, I'm talking about the layout of the building. So just as a quick review, you know where the location is. It's going to be at the Aldine Staff Development Center. And we are going to be uh, using the building from 8 to 2 p.m. The actual Ed Camp session is from 9 to 1, but John told me that we have the building from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that will give us time to set up and close down. And the date again for that is May 16th. And we're going to be using the first floor. So here's a map of the floor plan of ASDC. Um, we, meaning me and John, decided that the first floor would be best utilized. I don't think having go, having uh, teachers go up to the second floor would be any good. I know we had talked about maybe possibly using the second floor because it'll be easier to move desk around. But um, I want to talk about that in just a moment. So as you can see, um, there are 11 areas that we can utilize um, for the first floor. We're not using any of the labs. Um, we can use them if we truly need to, but let's avoid that because we don't want teachers having to go on the computers and not really uh, facilitating. Again, this is an EdCamp style conference, so we want to avoid um, having to have a presenter and use uh, the computers if at all possible. Keep in mind also that the common area can be used as well for um, if we need to do uh, split up some sessions, no more than maybe two or three, just so it doesn't get too loud. And FYI, I will be putting um, this uh, map on an email so you can just have a quick access to the floor plan, okay? And again, it's just the first floor. And I'm sorry if I didn't uh, have this red circle not in the right spot that's going to be for the labs 115 and 110 okay all the areas that are circle are the ones that we're going to be utilizing so the common area when we first walk on the first floor will be used for basically our keynote or introduction to ed camp and when we're talking about the rules for ed camp again that common area can also be used for if we want to split um, a session or two in case we need more room. And I want to talk about how uh, many people have signed up as of today. But we can split, you know, the area if we need to, to have more uh, space and, and just utilize the room for whatever we need to use it for. I talked to John about this and he said it was okay, but I thought it would be a great idea if we could use the glass to paste the sticky notes on and we can uh, do a grade out of that instead of having to run and find paper, you know, kind of like, you know, the ER style. We can get markers that can obviously be erased off and make a grade out of that and the teachers can come and just place the sticky notes on top of there. And uh, we don't have to worry about having to, you know, tape anything up. We can just use the sticky notes. And I'll try to find some markers that will do that. I'm sure they're out there that way. We don't have to worry about wasting a lot of paper. So rooms 103 and 106 look like the picture that you see. Um, John told me that what we can do, of course, is have all the tables pushed up against the walls. <coughs> Excuse me. They can be pushed up against the walls. And we can have the chairs kind of in that um, circle, uh, kind of oval feel to it. So uh, we could have a good round discussion. So that can already be uh, set up before the uh, EdCamp on Saturday. 
Room 109 is a room that can also be deal, utilized. Um, it is a big room, so I'm thinking that, again, we can split up um, the area. Uh, we need to make sure that if we're going to do that, that they're not so close together. That way we don't um, disturb the other session that's going on. Um, the sections that I have highlighted could be one group talking about something, and then the smaller rectangle could be the one close to the back. That way um, it's not as noisy, so we don't want them to be too close. John also said that we can use one a room 121. Um, there's no setup that, that needs to be required. Uh, it's already have that, it already has that round table feel, and people can... Uh, bring the chairs from the uh, other ends of the room a little bit closer so we can use that round table for whatever we want to use it for and then when we finish with that room it'll be easy just putting the chairs back. Rooms 119 and 107 can also be used. We can use that for a big area or we can use that little the partition to split up the rooms if we need to and also rooms 112 and 111. There are bigger rooms, but those can also be used uh, as well. So uh, as I close up this little presentation, um, I think it would be a good idea if maybe we could come early and just kind of help set things up. I know John said that we can already have this done, but I think it would be nice if we all pitch in and help and just get the little things uh, set up maybe around three o'clock show up and just kind of just make sure everything's good to go that way when we come at eight we can fine tune things that need to be fine tuned um Akilah, i don't know if we're doing any type of continental breakfast or anything like that i know we're not doing lunch but i know if that was uh up in the air or we're just going to get started at nine um i am going to stay until two o'clock two thirty to make sure the Rooms are getting put back to normal. I'll kind of help the custodians out a little bit. If you can, please do that as well, just so we can be ready for, mon uh, for Monday. And I did a little rough breakdown. I'm sorry if it's not that accurate. I'm sure you can look on the, uh, the e-portal yourself. But as of 11 a.m. today, we have about 66 people who are registered for our unconference ed camp. And here's a rough breakdown of it about... 62 teachers have signed up, roughly. That's about 19 in the high school level, 17 in the middle school intermediate level, and 25 in the elementary. We have about six skills or admin or counselors that have decided to sign up and attend the unconference. And six of those are also computer teachers or iTech. So that's kind of the rough breakdown. I'm not sure if that's really accurate, but that's where we stand as of Brad sending the uh, the mass email that he wanted all the iTechs to send. I don't know if we've done any other um, marketing for that, but that's as of this morning and regarding the mass email that we sent out. Uh, to our campuses. So I think that's a pretty good start without really hitting hard. Uh, I know the next time we meet, I know Brad and Shana are going to want to talk about um, how we're going to mar uh, market this. And I know Shana came up with a good um, flyer as well. And so that's it, you guys. That's the breakdown of the floor plan and of the layout of the unconference ed camp. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Feel free to email John. Again, if I've made any mistakes in this little presentation or if you want to add something to the group, please feel free to add it when I send this in the email. And I will also attach the map so you guys, again, will have that layout. So that's it for me, you guys. Have a good week.